Good evening guys, this is Tony Hannity's with LazyTechGuys.com, the best source on the web for your tech news around the world. Tonight we're going to take a quick little walkthrough with the HTC Thunderbolt that is currently on Verizon Wireless here in the United States. I am about to demo the test build of Gingerbread 2.3 on a phone that is officially only on 2.2. So you're going to have to bear with me. I currently am only using the camera from an, a Fascinate by Samsung. So hopefully the quality of this video isn't too bad. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing that you'll notice is that the lock screen is a little bit more like a widget as well. It's a little bit more dynamic in the weather. Uh, you can actually change that so it shows your Facebook or Twitter updates. Uh, you can also show you the stocks if you're really into stocks and a few other things like a photo uh, photo slideshow. Down here you have four little icons that you can also change. So for example if I wanted to update my Facebook I just drag it to the circle here, let go and after a moment or so it will go to uh, to my Facebook. There you go. And same thing if I wanted to go to Gtalk right, right away. So it's a little quicker in that. And uh, also instead of swiping down as we've uh, come to get used to with HTC, this time we're actually going to swipe up. The screens are pretty much the same thing. You've got your normal screens, you know, seven screens that you can customize, so nothing too different about that. Um, when it comes to the widget customization, I do want to show you this. Again, this is part of Sense. Again, not part of Gingerbread. When you click on the weather, it makes you look like you're flying. And then it pops up with the temperature. And of course, you can set different cities around the world. Let's check my homeland. And Manila is gorgeous, as always. And my other homeland. Oh, it's it's nice in London. It's a little cold, but uh, that's not too bad. There's London weather for you. All right, but yeah, so that's more part of Sense. Uh, on here is kind of a 2.1 Sense operating system that you would uh, actually see on the Incredible 2 that's also on Verizon Wireless. So you've got this tabbed kind of uh, thing going on here. So you can see all your applications. And when you scroll through, it scrolls in pages. It doesn't just go uh, on a continuous scroll, which I like. It's a lot easier to get to the app that you want to go to. Um, then these are the most frequently used applications. And these are just the apps that you've downloaded, whether they be through the Amazon market or the Google market, so to speak. And before any of you say, oh, just a, uh, it's just a launcher, it's not an actual root or anything like that, I do want to show you the software version. So that is Android version 2.3.4 and HTC Sense version 2.1. The kernel, if you guys cared and if you guys can see, is actually 2.6.3513 and that's also taken from the XDA website. But the biggest thing that Gingerbread has is uh, it does have another keyboard that's coming out, which I don't have on here. Um, and it's also supposed to be better for the battery manager. I don't see that. So definitely this is an alpha build, so you can't expect picture perfect right out, right out of the gate. But what you can expect is Google Talk uh, with video chat. So let me just show you here. As I log in, as you can see, these are all the people that are either available or not available. And if I wanted to video chat with one of them, I would just click on that and wake that person up, and then I'd be able to see them using the front-facing camera that's on the HTC Thunderbolt. So currently with Verizon, the only phone that has gingerbread is the phone coming out tomorrow on the uh, on the uh, Sony Xperia Play, which is the first certified PlayStation phone on Verizon Wireless. So you'll be able to video chat with that. 
and uh, yeah so go ahead to your local Verizon wireless store and check that out but otherwise if you want to get a jump on it you know try it out on here I do want to show you two other things that I've noticed as a mod it it's not the best when it comes to scrolling it's not very clean it's very choppy and then also when you're doing any kind of video or taking a camera you see that so again I mean overall the main reason why I went ahead and did this was because of this application here which I did another video for Netflix so I'm not going to do it again but that was one of the main reasons why I did it but um, yeah go ahead and try it out that's what these phones are meant for just a, just a playground uh, for you geeks out there and so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you know definitely subscribe to this channel and make sure you check out lazytechguys.com also on twitter at lazytechguys and I'll talk to you guys later